And turning to our own weather, Joseph, stormy out there today, but nothing like that. Nothing like that, but we have had our fair share of some thunderstorms bringing in some hail today. A lot of lightning. I'm going to show you the radar loop here in just one second. There is a cluster of thunderstorms that moved through eastern Oregon or closer towards Pendleton that brought in a lot of lightning, and it's something to see. All right, here's Portland right now. Notice in the distance a little ominous. We do have some clouds out there that have been producing some heavy rain over areas of the Portland metro area. So keep that in mind if you're going out here for the next hour, although it is starting to dry up from the west down to the east and south as we go into this evening. You see some sunshine to the north out of Ailan Nay. We have McMinnville, also a little peak of blue sky there in Lincoln City, the same with some clouds there in the distance, but really not producing much rain. That's closer to home here. Current conditions over Portland right now at 53 degrees. We are looking to the east and to the north, so that's where we're noticing some of the heavier showers right now. 57 degrees by 6 p.m. I'm going to leave a chance for some rain in the forecast next hour or so, but by the time we get to about 7 or 8, we start drying up. In fact, we may even have a pretty nice sunset. Temperatures at 9 and 10 in the lower 50s. Today, we've collected a decent amount of moisture, actually over a half an inch coming out of Portland for our final day of April here. And so this is going to add to our rain total for today. You can see nearly a half an inch coming out of Vancouver, slightly less totals there from McMinnville up towards Hillsborough and out towards Astoria. But yes, it kind of depended on if you fell underneath one of those cells today that brought in some heavy rain. I mentioned it was the wettest April now on record. We are at number one. You can see right below us, 1993, 1996, we had a wet one as well. And it uh, goes down the list there. So we have made it. Before last night, we were at four. We made it up to number one due to the rain last night and through the day today. Okay, we have some heavier showers down to the south in Marion County and also up towards Portland. Remember that was gray, dark clouds that we were just looking at out the camera. That is this system or these cells right here. Fair view over to Troutdale. I-84 is going to be pretty wet and across the way there towards southeast of Vancouver. And then we even have this little cluster down to the south, Salem, extending close to Monmouth, but these are moving away from you in Monmouth out towards the east, so that's bringing in some rain there. Okay, I mentioned we had a cluster of thunderstorms earlier that brought in a lot of lightning. I'm going to pull this back another six hours. You can see the loop here as it does pass in. It starts west. Pendleton, you can see all the lightning passing right through really, really heavy rain and storm cell there, and that uh, brought in some pretty towering rain totals over towards the Pendleton area. Still a little stormy for central and eastern Oregon. All right, we do dry up tomorrow. We have this little ridge over the top of us, but then another quick moving system arrives on Monday for more rain. So we're going to start off the month of May with some precipitation there. But then we have a strong ridge developing on Wednesday, which is going to warm us on up before we cool right back on down on Thursday and heading into Friday. Future cast showing us drying up overnight tonight. Here's your Sunday. If you're going to be out tomorrow, it's a nice day. Uh, you'll see some sunshine tomorrow. Maybe a few clouds, though, for the morning. We get into Monday. Here we go. Here's another system that's going to be early in the morning, bringing in some rain. We'll have showers on and off on Monday before we dry up on Tuesday. Really nice day on Wednesday with sunshine. And then more rain on Thursday. A little busy there. Check out the temperature, though, on Wednesday. We're at 72 degrees, so we're breaking into the 70s. 66 tomorrow, Monday at 53, so kind of cool. Tuesday, not bad there, Liz, but then we get to Wednesday. And Wednesday sure looks nice. Temperatures in the 70s before we're back to the showers on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hey, at least we have Wednesday. At least, we have <laughs> at Wednesday. least there's that. All right, Jess, see you soon. Coming up next.